Yes, that is Lori Brown. That right there, that's Lori Brown. <clears throat> Hi, Lori. How are you? Uh, this is the Friday edition of Much West. My name is Mulligan. Uh, we're here in the lobby of the, uh, this gorgeous building, uh, 299 Queen Street West. These, these friends of mine are actually in the lobby here as we speak. They are, they are the people who actually run the building. We're waiting for a Blue Rodeo. Jim and Greg... Uh, oh, here they are now. Here they are now. Yes, here they are now. They're our special guests, as we Hi. promised. Oh, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, stay here. And we're don't here to see Erica. <laughs> are you... you know where she is? Yeah, she's, uh, she's over there. I, <clears throat> oh, she just ducked out of the shop. So oh, we'll wait over here. For <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna go outside. Let's go outside, okay? Uh, Come right. on, this is much west. We, we don't hear you ask stinging questions, though. We are yeah, gonna I'm ask stinging nervous, questions. So. Do you know what we're yeah, gonna ask? Come yeah. on. Come on. New, uh, Come on. You know what we're dealing with here? Much music. Do you know what the theme of today's show is? Come on out here. The truth. Revenge. Is it the truth? No, it isn't. Are like you after the truth? Show. I'm after the truth and rock and roll. Um, we're going to talk about the best new artists, breakthrough artists of 1989. And who else? I said, who knows more about rock and roll anywhere <laughs> than you two, right? Well, it's just that it's us. I can give you the best breakthrough in 59, maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, was Wilson Pickett. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to play here, for example. Here's, here's a, for example, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny, I like Lenny, like Lenny Kravitz. I saw it last night. He likes, he is like he writes in John Lennon's spirit, this kind of stark uh, uh, self whatever thing, you know? He does that. Singing about love. He says that state of the art recording was 1967. Sure, I go. With Sergeant Pepper. And everything else is just a toy now. So we can talk about that, okay? Interesting. Okay, you won't agree with probably the other selections on the show, but this is a start, okay? So in front of, well, let's do this. In front of the Chum City Building. We are much less for a Friday. This is Lenny Kravitz, one of the best new artists of 1989. <laughs> it's voted by them. <laughs> yes, this is uh, City Hall uh, in Toronto, very world famous. But do you ever get to see this? We never. We, there's people all over the ice. We never get to see this. You know, this is wonderful. This is, this is wonderful. It's this kind of th brings us together as a nation. I think this is Torontonian winter sports. It is true. This is as cold as it gets. Are there nights when this place is so jammed you can't skate? Like. Oh, I think every night it's like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, the every night of the John Lennon vigil. <laughs> yep. It was just packed with candles down here with candles. Have you played here in the square? Yeah. Yes, we have a couple of times. A couple of times. They put a big stage up over there on uh, New Year's Eve. Yep. And they get a whole pile of people to come okay. down. Okay, okay, let's talk about New Year's Eve in Vancouver for a second because you are, in fact, going to be there on a humongous lineup. It's, you know who you're playing with? Well, yeah, I, I know now. I found out at the end of the interview. <laughs> 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 and, uh,. 5440, yeah. Atlanta Miles, Kim Mitchell, and us are playing at the convention center. That's true. Are you, are you going to play anywhere else out there? Uh, Whistler the night before, I think. Are we doing that? Yeah. Well, you'll be in great before. shape for New Year's then, won't you? Oh, we'll be Because right. as you yeah. know, okay. if you caught our hard-hitting, incisive interview with them once, <clears throat> which they said, we want to go back to Whistler to see if it moves like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> see what's on the inside of the earth or the outside. Okay, let's recap your year quickly. Crazy. Well, uh, I guess we had a, our, we put out our second record in uh, April, mm -hmm. and since then we've played just about every other night. <laughs> so where was the best gig? Can you remember? Can you agree well, on a lot it? of good ones? Montreux Jazz ones. Festival was yeah. one of the best. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Uh, one of the New York gigs. The Montreal was really Montreal nice. Montreal was great. Time. Commodore was great. Yeah, that was a big. Uh, They're all really, you know, there's a lot of nice things about being in a popular band in Canada is that you get to go to a lot of like small places. Like we do Timmins, and we get to uh, Cape Breton, North Bay. We get to Sydney. Cape Breton, now they I loved you. We went twice this oh, year. Man. Oh yeah, we love twice. Sydney. Twice. Now we were talking about it. We started the show. The premise was very thin premise, I might add. Best well. new artist, breakthrough artist of 1989, and we've been going um and on. Like I, I said, Lenny Kravitz. Okay, Nana Cherry. Uh, De La Soul, Soul to Soul. The, the popular stuff this year uh, is there's been a lot of dance and rap that's really become big this year, and uh, I don't think we listen too much to, to we don't listen to contemporary radio too much, so we're not really up on what's what's breaking. Now, when when the people break out of contemporary radio into like pop stars like Tracy Chapman the year before, yeah, you know, well then yeah, you can't help but hear about them. But uh, I don't but think we really no have our Chapman. finger on the pulse of things, you know. <laughs> mm. Okay, Texas. I'm gonna throw Texas out. You don't. You don't They're care. okay. It's not like you know. It's not something that I put on every morning when I wake up. I hear it on the radio, and I think that guy plays slide about as well as I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't play. <clears throat> Any artists? 
Texas. Well, again, no, nothing. No, nothing. No. You know, I mean, I just just that I don't. It's not the kind of music that I listen to. I'm going to play him and anyway. So you know that. That's fine. You that's know, I know there's lots of people that love it, and and uh, that's that's great. But I don't. I, I think it's the same as with Greg. I don't get exposure to those artists very quickly, unless they uh, are some a sound that really uh, piqued my interest. And none of I'm not that interested in dance music, you know, marginally. But I listen to more like you know bands that I see in the bars and stuff like that. Is you didn't like breakthrough. You didn't like Tone Loke? You got a good one, huh? Don't know them. Tone Loke, the guy. Wow. No, oh. we'll play Texas and then we'll come back to this conversation because it is hard hitting and incisive. <laughs> Thank you. We're at uh, City Hall here in uh, Toronto with uh, Greg and Jim from Blue Rodeo. We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff, like new artists. Um, we'll get to the new artists in a minute. Well, you, you have a, what? Go. Well, it's just that I guess that, you know, like I know like a lot of good bands that I've seen this year in bars and they're just making records, you know, like those are. are okay, good. there's a band in Vancouver called The Scramblers who I think we'll, we will be talking about for a while. Yeah. Okay. There's a, uh, Sky Diggers in Toronto here just made a, a, a record. Touchstones, really good band. Yep. Crash Vegas just made a great hey, record. You know, a lot of bands that are, you know, doing their stuff in '89. But, but you know, aren't you supposed to be in school, or is this school? Yeah, yeah what is this? Yeah, this is school. Okay, just keep, just keep going, you guys. Keep going. <laughs> you guys are going to be famous hockey players one day. Uh, you have a, you want to Massey Hall next week? Next week, yeah. Next week. The what? The 14th of December. By yourself? No, with uh, Mary Margaret O'Hara. And it's going to be a big ticket. Special. Is she a breakthrough artist of 89, Mary Margaret yeah. O'Hara? Yeah. Oh, there's there a girl. Yeah. One. Man, we found one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now she had a now, beautiful, beautiful record. record. Yeah. And she's great. That's I, great. So, so there's one. Okay. What was the other one we just did before we started? Well, we thought of James McMurtry yeah. because he's very brand new. And uh, okay. I've heard a few songs and we played with him once, but I've never seen his video. So okay. take a chance here. We'll do that. Are you kidding? Uh, wh what else? Okay. So you got. You got a movie coming out when? That comes out in the summer. Okay. Yeah. So not for now. Yeah, our yeah. movie starring. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have, and then you have uh, uh, Thursday night you're going to be Massey Hall. Then you're going to be New Year's Eve. You're going to be in Vancouver. 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 And then what for the what? 1990. Off to make a, a new record. Here? Well, we don't know I where. guess we don't know. We'll, got, we'll take January to just write you songs got the song? and, oh, okay. and, uh, and relax. We've been touring, you know, Could you work my name into the lyric? <laughs> You're already in the DOA okay, video. Yeah, no, come yeah, on. Okay. How much do you want? Yeah, so, DOA breakthrough video. Two, <laughs> two, two yeah. of the best new artists of 89. And I think if Tiny Tim comes back, you know, and puts like a full-blown orchestra behind him, I think it would work. But would that be breakthrough if he came back? Yes, it would. Oh. Well. I think what is a rookie, what isn't a rookie? You know, we could this see, we've had so much fun doing this. And the tricky thing is, this is 7:30 in the evening. How do you like it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. A little different. So it's been the smoke and mirror as well. We're back in front of the Chum City oh, building. Started. Let's stop here History for a moment. A Just by the logo. Thanks. Um, we got to finish this thing off because '89 was a was a great year for you guys, right? Don't you was figure? That, is that the one that just passed? That's right, the one that's about to pass. It was yeah, it was a pretty good year. I had a good time. Did you? It's always you know collectively, yeah, the band is, is done, is done pretty good. If somebody, if somebody in your office had said to you, yeah, guys, you'll be on tour here, 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 you're gonna be doing this, you're doing that, and sometime within the year you'll be appearing in a movie with Meryl Streep, you'd have said take a hike <laughs> well it would have cursed but i know you you don't, don't like, like cursing curse. don't so. play with us like that no. yeah no we don't curse please no. Yeah. no cursing still waiting for the great lyric there uh <laughs> okay now how would a canadian artist to finish that off? must have been a question to you <laughs> uh, grapes of wrath that's it we toured with grapes of wrath out in the east coast and they are first time i got to see them in their great band yeah great great band and uh have, they had a good year too. I they mean, they had vision, a big year. Vision is what they you have. Right? A lot of integrity in their music, and they're very nice guys, and uh, they have a lot of the same values about music that we do, even though they're quite a bit younger. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing. They drew a really young crowd for us, and yeah. we drew an old crowd for them. So the people it was like, you, can you it was get the father and son reunion, aren't yeah. you? The, the Beatles screams thing here. Are you used to that now? Uh, we don't get it as much as the grapes do. No. The grapes get it when they're like they'd be walking down the street, and yeah. you know two girls would come out of that coffee shop and start screaming, you know, well, two okay. girls. Yeah. Yeah. But when we get in a bar full of old has-beens, that's our crowd. Yeah. Okay. They know us, they don't know the grapes. All right. right. So, New Year's Eve, we'll see you in uh, Vancouver. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, We're playing with 5440. Yeah. And uh, Alana Miles. Alana, Alana Miles, Miles and Kim show? Mitchell. That's going to be great. Hey, oh, what a great. show. show.
all on the same show. Blue Rodeo. This has been uh, Much West, uh, and we'll uh, we'll see you uh, on Backtracks, okay? It's been that kind of thing. We'll leave you with the grapes and all the things. See you guys. Bye. Bye.